Hello, Sun Beamers. I hope you all are fine. Today, we are going to start a new chapter of physics that is force and pressure. So, in class 6, this chapter is very, very important. And this, you will be in touch with this chapter till your class 12th. So, from now onwards, please focus on what I am teaching. Everything I will not teach from the book. Something also I will teach extra. Okay. Or I will write in the white screen that you are seeing beside the book. Force and pressure. What do you mean by force? Force means anything that we apply to the body changes its state of rest or motion. Suppose a body is moving and you are applying a force on it. Ek dhakka usa dete ho ya ise ek usse rokne ki kushish karte ho body ruk jata hai. The body changes its state of motion into rest. Okay? One minute. This book is a book uh, published by Bharti Bhavan. Okay. If you have any different book, no problem. You will not face any difficulty while studying. So a push or pull. Force means push or pull. And what happened when we apply force? Changes the state of rest or motion. A body's state of rest or motion cannot change on its own. Suppose a ball is moving. If you not stop that ball with your hand or with your leg, it will not stop. It will continue moving. So we have to apply the ball force on the ball so that or you have to apply the push to the ball so that it will move or it will it will change its state of motion suppose a motorcycle if you are not uh, accelerating it or if you are not starting it it will not change its state of rest it will it will uh, remain in the state of rest until and unless you apply a force on the your motorcycle or your cycle. You see, here is an engine. If this boy will not apply force to this engine, this engine will not move. It will not change its states of its state of rest. By applying force or by applying a push, we can change its state of rest into motion. So, what is force? Push and pull. Push or pull applied on a body to change its state of rest or state of motion. So, when a force acts on the body, it can change the state of rest or motion of the body. So, effects of force. First one we have already read. Force can cause motion. You can see in this engine, if you are applying a push to the toy engine, it changes its state of rest to motion. It can increase speed. See, if you are riding your motor, your cycle, you are increasing this, uh, increasing the pedaling of your cycle. If you are increasing the uh, pedaling of your cycle, your cycle speed will increase. Okay. So, by what you are increasing the pedal of your cycle? You are applying extra force. So that your cycle will move in greater speed or more speed in a swing. If your swing is Moving slowly, you are applying extra force by putting your leg on the ground so that swing, the swing will swing faster. Okay? So, force can increase speed. Okay? If you, are, if you want to increase speed of a body, you have to apply force. What is the third effect of force? Decrease speed. Same thing. Suppose a ball is moving. You, stop, you applied your hand like that. 
before the ball. It will stop. Okay. Or suppose a body is moving here. You in this direction. Okay. And you applied force in the opposite direction. It will stop or not. So if you apply force in the opposite direction to the motion of the body, the speed of the body will decrease. Suppose here is a ball. Ball is moving in this direction. Your hand is applying force in this direction. The ball will stop. Why ball stopped? Because you have applied force in the opposite direction. This is the opposite direction. Suppose this is the your uh, right direction. This is your left direction. So you applied force in the opposite direction. That's why the ball stopped. Okay. Yes. Thus, if you are on a swing and your friend pulls it in a direction opposite to its motion, the swing will slow down. Yes. If your friend pulls the swing to the opposite direction, it, the speed of the swing will decrease. Come ho jayega. The fourth point is the force can change the direction of the motion. See, the ball was coming here. The, this boy by, by his hand changed the direction of the ball to here. It was coming up, but the ball striked the hand of the boy and the ball came down. Direction changed or not from north to south? The direction of the ball changed. So yes, you can change the direction of the ball by applying force. It can change the shape. You take a strawberry or an uh, orange or simply a ladu. You crush, you apply force on it, it will crush. You have changed the shape and size of the ladu by applying force. Yes or no? Now, unit of force. See, definition of force, you can note it down. Force is something that can bring a about a change in the state of rest or motion of the body or change its shape, size and direction. You can add here direction also. Okay, diameter direction. Unit of force. The SI unit of force is Newton. And you have to remember force is a physical quantity. Physical quantity means the quantities that can be measured. The quantities that can be measured are known as physical quantity. So force is a physical quantity. And what is the SI unit of force? Newton. Okay. One Newton is approximately the force you apply to lift an object of 100 gram. Okay. So for, for lifting 100 gram, we need one Newton force. So one Newton is equal to 100 gram. You can remember like that. Or 100 gram force. So for lifting 1000 gram. 1000 gram means how many kilogram? 1000 gram means 1 kilogram. 1 kg. So for lifting 1 kg. We need how much force? 10 Newton. How 10 Newton? 100 into 10,000. So for lifting 1,000 gram, we need 10 Newton. For 100 gram, 1 Newton. And 1,000 gram, 10 Newton. Suppose I will ask a question. For 800 gram, how much force we require to lift? Yes, the answer is 8, 8 Newton. Yes. So types of forces. There are two types of forces. One is your contact force. Another one is your non-contact force or action at a distant forces. There are two kinds of force. Contact and action at a distant force is also called as non-contact forces. By name only you can derive the definition of these forces. I think this blue color is not visible properly. I will change this to red color. Yes. Contact force. Contact force means was force that two bodies in contact apply on each other. See, here the car and the hand is in contact. 
So if the hand comes in contact with the car, the car will stop its motion or change its state of motion into rest. So the two bodies in contact, the force that the two bodies apply on each other by contact is known as contact. Forces the two bodies in contact apply on each other. Contact forces. How we apply contact force on a body? By push. By push, pull or lift. By pushing a body or by pulling a body. Us body ko chunke ham jo force apply karte hai. That is contact force in simple words to understand. But what is the definition you have to remember? For forces that two bodies in contact apply on each other. <coughs> अब कुछ बच्चों को डाउट हो सकता है कि why each other came here because here you will see only this hand is applying force only this hand is applying force on this body but here it is written each other so you may ask what is the meaning of each other? Because only hand is applying force on the car. No. Car is also applying some force on the hand. That is called your normal force. That's why it is written that contact apply on each other. Car is also applying equal and opposite amount of force on the hand. Okay. So here it is written each other. Okay. Sometimes we apply a contact force on something without touching it directly. How? You see. You can attach a string to the car or to a toy and pull the string to make the car move. Yes. Suppose here a car is there. We have applied a string and the string, attaching the string, we are moving it. You all must know about Rath Yatra. In Rath Yatra, the Rath of Jagannath is pulled by applying force on the string. We apply force on the string by which we pull the Rath and the Rath begins to move. Okay? So, we, we need not to have, have give directly, we need not to apply force directly on the Rath we apply force on the string and the string is attached to the rut and we pull the string by which the rut begins moving or changes its state of rest to motion. Okay? And what this force is called? Tension. The type of contact force that applied force applied by a string wire or thin rod is called tension. I gave an example to you about the Rath Yatra. Ratyatra is an example of is an example of tension force. Tension acts along the rope from which a bucket hangs in a well example, or wire from the from which lamp hangs, or a rope that is pulled by two teams in a tug of war. Tug of war means suppose a wire is there and there are two teams pulling the wire, and uh, on which side the wire will go, that team will win, or that side will win. Suppose the uh, wire goes to this side, team A wins. Suppose the wire goes to this side, team B wins. Okay? That is called as the tug of war. These are all examples of tension force. Tension force means contact force applied by a string, wire or rope. Thin rod, you can say. Okay? Friction. Stopping force. Suppose you are moving a book in a, on a table. On a table, you are moving this book. But you see, after some time, the book will stop. And again, you have to apply force to the book for moving. Why? Because this table is applying friction force to the book to stop. It is not allowing it to move freely. It is applying friction force or opposing force. It opposes the motion of the book. That is friction force. 
okay So your hand is applying force on the book and this table is applying a opposite friction force on the book by which the book motion is opposed. Okay, it is the force is not allowing the book to move freely. It is applying an opposing force to the book by which it is stopping. So this is called as friction. Okay. So what is friction? The force that opposes the motion or tendency of motion between two surfaces in contact is called friction force. Opposes the motion. Motion ko ropta hai. Example, here is a block. You are applying force on this block. It doesn't move completely. It stops after some time because of friction force applied by the table on the block. Because you see, why friction is a contact force? Because there is a contact between the block and the table. Okay. There is a contact between the block and the table. Why? Because of friction. Okay. Very good. Friction acts only when something has a tendency to move. This one you have to remember. It opposes the motion. Motion means tendency to move or is actually moving. So friction can only be applied when the body is in motion. Friction depends on the surface surfaces in contact. Yes, it is a contact force. So it depends on the surface. Okay, if the surface is rough, friction is more. If the surface is smooth, friction is less. You see in your, you take one marble marble plane and you take one uh, uh, granite plane or your stony plane and you slide a ball. The ball, ball will slide easily through a marble plane. Why? Because friction is less. Friction is less. It easily move from there. But when we take a granite or stony plane, it will move from there. Because friction is more. It will oppose the motion. That, that's why Friction depends on the surfaces in contact. Okay. Nature of the surface, the friction depends on that. Surfaces in contact means the surface on which the object is moving. Okay. This activity you can do at your home. See, I have told you the ball moves much farther in smooth surface because of force of friction which opposes it. Motion is smaller. Then and in rough surface, it is larger. I have already told you this can come in the example. Friction is useful. You will say it is an opposing force. How it is useful? It is very useful. Let us see the uses of friction. When you walk or run, you push the ground backwards with your foot. Yes, the tendency of the foot is to move in the direction the force of friction opposes its tendency and acts in the opposite direction. That is the direction in which you want to move. This helps you to move forward. Suppose while you are walking, you are walking by applying your, your force backwards with your foot. See, you are pushing the ground backwards. But how you are able to walk forward? By friction. The friction is always opposite. So you are applying force in this side on the ground. The friction will be on this side. So, so you, are, uh, you are able to move forward. Okay. In If the force of friction between your foot and floor is small, your foot may continue to move backwards. In the case, you may slip or fall. Suppose I will put a banana, banana, what you say, chilka. Banana, peel of banana on this floor. And your leg falls on this peel. You slip off because the friction becomes less and your foot, uh, your force applied on, uh, by the foot increases and you begin to move backward and you slip and fall. Okay. So when we apply water, oil, anything is there on the floor. If you put your leg and if the friction decreases, you fall because your leg tends to move backwards. Same thing applies on wheels of the vehicle. Okay. 
Brakes also are one of the application of friction. If there are no brakes on the vehicle, then you will not able to stop. And there you will be facing an accident. So force of friction between the brake shoes and the wheels slow down the slow down the wheels. Okay, brake shoes and the wheels. There, there must be a force of friction so that the wheels will stop and the vehicle will come to a rest. Okay. And also for grip of an object, suppose you are hand uh, you are having a pencil. See, when your hands be, uh, are watery or your hands are wet, you will not able to write properly. Why? Because friction decreases there. So for having a good grip, you must have a good friction and uh, so that you can write easily. Okay. So, so friction between our fingers helps to grip an object. These are all the uh, your... Uh, advantages or uses of friction okay see everything is there friction between your pencil lead okay and your paper okay friction is used to polish surfaces and when two surfaces rub against each other the friction between them produce heat and and this can catch fire the heat produced when you see your early man Early men rubbed two stones against each other and they produced fire. Why that two stones produced fire? Because it produced a friction and by which fire is generated. Okay, and now we are able to use that fire in cooking or other purposes. So fire is produced because of friction. So these are the uses of friction you can go through. Okay. Now, increasing friction. How to increase friction? So in tire, you see like these patterns. You go and see your car today or your bike of your father. You see, you will see like this pattern in, you, in your father's bike tire. Why? This is to increase the friction between the road and the tire. Okay. By increasing friction, what will happen? Tendency of slipping will decrease and grip will increase. गिरने की चांसेस कम हो जाएगी अगर टायर का ग्रिप ज्यादा होगा तो रोड में गिरने की स्लिप होने की चांसेस कम हो जाएगी इन योर सोल सू आल्सो लाइक दिस पैटर्न्स यू विल सी जस्ट टू इंक्रीज फ्रिक्शन इट विल हेल्प यू इन वॉकिंग एंड रनिंग ओके योर पेवमेंट्स इन योर प्लेइंग एरिया सच एज बास्केटबॉल कोर्ट्स आर मेड स्लाइटली रफ व्हाई इट इज मेड स्लाइटली रफ It is made slightly rough just to prevent slipping. Okay. And you know, cricket bat also, if you are playing cricket, you can see in the handle of your bat, there is a close fitting rubber tube just to increase friction between your hand and the bat and improve the grip. This is what you have to remember. Grip means tendency of handling an object. Friction also can cause problems. एक एक चीज के दो पहलू होते हैं वन गुड एंड वन बैड सो फ्रिक्शन आल्सो हैज सम डिसएडवांटेजेस व्हाट आर द डिसएडवांटेजेस सिंस फ्रिक्शन ऑपोजेस मोशन इट इज अ डिसएडवांटेज इन मशीन एंड मूविंग पार्ट्स यस इन मशीन एंड मूविंग पार्ट्स फ्रिक्शन इज अ डिसएडवांटेज हाउ बाईसाइकल यू सी इन योर बाईसाइकल चेन यू मस्ट बी सीइंग द मैकेनिज्म इज अप्लाइंग सम ऑयल व्हाई to avoid friction if you will not apply oil regularly by that friction your chain may break and that will cause you problem okay so and also your shutters and door hinges sliding sliding windows are moving parts if friction increases because of rusting it becomes difficult to use them see you see after some time if you are not taking proper care of the iron things or steel things steel materials you will see rust will form on on the top of them because of your friction this is also a due this is also due to friction rust will form due to atmosphere which increases friction rust is formed mainly due to moisture when moisture and iron reacts with each other they form the rust and that rust will increase friction and and uh, cause you difficulties while using them 
Okay, so we, we should take care of iron and steel materials. Friction causes heating in machines and moving parts and ruin machine. And they, this can ruin a machine unless proper precautions are taken. Machine ke parts ko heat karke usko damage kar sakte. Okay, friction. Okay, same thing is written here. Even our teeth wear down due to friction. Okay. So we should brush our teeth properly. If we will not brush our teeth, our teeth will may become hard and due to friction. Our enamel, our enamel may our enamel may get slow and slow enough, or our enamel may, may get harmful. It will be harmful to our enamel. If we not brush our teeth, and if we not brush our teeth properly, friction between the teeth increases. When the friction of between the teeth increases, the enamel of our teeth will be in problem or will be troubled or will be damaged, you can say. Okay, rats and some animals keep gnawing, gnawing at times to prevent the teeth from becoming too long. Okay. Animal will get wear down, a very good word. Okay. So how to reduce friction? By applying lubricants, oiling. Okay. We can apply lubricants and oiling. The sliding parts of the machine are made as smooth. Yes, we can make the sliding parts smooth to avoid friction. Okay. We can apply table or we can apply wheels on the table to avoid friction. Okay. So if we apply till, uh, to, uh, wheels on the table, the floor need not to be much smooth. For floor can be rough. So we can easily avoid friction by making the tables with wheels and also smooth metal ball balls called ball bearings are used to reduce friction in rotating parts see like this ball bearings are used which are made up of smooth metals so that friction is decreased and also when an object moves through air it faces air resistance see as the object is flying you don't think you must be thinking that there is no resistance there is no friction here but yes there is a friction that is air friction or air resistance. So how to control the air resistance? Liquids to offer such resistance. Yet liquid also, in water also, there is a resistance here. So how to control that resistance? Okay, to shape it streamlined. Why the aeroplane is shaped like that? To prevent air resistance. To prevent the friction from air and why the boat is shaped like that? to prevent the friction from water. And this is called a streamlining. Okay. That's why your birds and fish are also like that. You will see your fish will be like this shape and bird is like this. That is called natural streamlines. Now non-contact force are action at a distant forces. What is non-contact force? Force that act between two bodies, even when they are not in contact with each other, they need not to be in contact with each other, are called action at a distant forces or non-contact forces. Example, gravitational force. Suppose you are putting a ball up. After some time, it comes down. Why? Because of the gravitational force. The earth has a pulling force on the body by which it attracts every body towards itself. It is gravitational force and it is a non-contact force. It, it, you see, after some time, the ball goes to the sky, it again comes back. Okay, it was founded by Sir Isaac Newton. Okay, what is gravitational force? Mutual force of attraction between the two bodies because of their masses is called as gravitational force. Every body on this earth attract each other by gravitational force. Mutual force of attraction. And why this force of attraction is there? Because there is a mass. Every body. Suppose uh, I am sitting before my laptop. My laptop and, and me are having a mutual force of attraction between us. And that force is known as gravitational force. Why? Because my laptop has some mass, I also have some mass. But that is very negligible. Okay, that's why there is no movement. But in case of earth and a ball, earth mass is much more bigger than a ball. 
सो द अर्थ इज एबल टू अट्रैक्ट द बॉल टूवर्ड्स इट सेल्फ वेरी इजिली क्योंकि उसका मास ज्यादा है इसीलिए वो बॉल को इजिली अट्रैक्ट अपने तरफ कर पाता है ठीक है The earth pulls the ball back thrown into the air. Now weight. Every body has weight. What is weight? Weight and mass are not equal. The force with which the earth attracts a body is called body weight. You must, you all must be thinking, earth, um, mass and weight equal. No mass is no mass is amount of matter present in the body. Weight means with what force? The bob the earth is attracting a body is the weight, okay? And weight the direction of the weight is downwards, always downwards. Why downwards? Because it is attracted by the earth. So earth. Suppose a man is standing here. So the force by which the earth attracts the body, so earth will attract the body downward. So weight is always down. And I was already told you, one kg is about ten newton. So we say weight is one kg f. We usually say one kg, but we should say one kg f, one kilogram force. Okay. Now magnetic force. I hope you have understood weight. Earth attracts the body downwards. Okay, attracts the body downwards. By weight, we get a body weight. Magnetic force. You must have seen a magnet. A magnet attracts iron objects towards itself. You bring a magnet near an iron object; they both will come together, come to each other, and attract. So the force exerted by a magnet is called magnetic force. Why this iron object attracted toward the magnet? Because of the magnetic force. Okay. So magnetic force uh, much is not there. Just you remember the force exerted by the magnet is magnetic force, and it is not a contact force. If you keep the iron little bit farther from the magnet, also it will attract towards itself. Electrostatic force. Okay. Electrostatic force. Matter is made up of tiny particles that carry something called charge. charge is what give rise to electricity normally a body amounts to types of charge positive and negative charge charge means something that is carried by the matter that is a charge okay and normally the bodies have equal amount of positive and negative charge suppose you will ask sir we are of what charge positive charge or negative charge i will say you are neutral okay i will say you are neutral Why I will say you are neutral because you have equal amount of positive and negative charge. But if some body have more positive charge, here you see there are only two positive charge and one negative charge. So we can say this body has net positive charge because always positive and negative charge cancel each other. But one positive charge is left on this body, so it is positive charge. Suppose another body, there are three negative charge and one positive charge. Well, one negative, one positive cancel because always positive and negative charge cancel each other. But net two negative charge remain. So this body is minus two negative charge. Why minus two? Two negative charge. Another body we will take. One positive. Two negative. What is the charge of this body? The charge of this body is cancel minus one. Why? One negative charge remain. So the charge of this body is one more question. I am giving. Here is a body. Here are two positive charge, three positive charge, 
and two negative charge. What is the charge of this body? So now you solve this. Pause the video and solve it. And after some time, I will tell the answer. So we have got the answer. So there are two questions here. Here we have cancelled. <coughs> one positive, one negative, two positive, two negative. So left is plus, so plus one. Here, one positive, cancel. Depend. What is happening? Oh. Sorry for the interruption, my dear students. So I hope you have got how to calculate how to calculate between your uh, charge that is positive charge and negative charge and if some some charge is more than one charge suppose positive charge is more than negative charge the body is called positive and if the negative charge is more then the body is called as negative okay i don't know what happened why it is not scrolling up All right. When a body has excess of one kind of charge, it is said to be charged. So this charge also applies force, which is called as electrostatic force. Because charge produces, give rise to electricity. So electrostatic means in the rest position. Okay. Static means rest and dynamic means motion. So this is known as an electrostatic force. You, you comb your hair for much time and then take some piece of paper and take the comb near the piece of paper you will see that comb will attract this piece of paper due to electrostatic force because this comb gets charged and this charge this charge attracts the opposite charge and that's why the comb sticks the piece of paper sticks to the comb okay Resultant force. What do you mean by resultant of forces? See, today we will only read about forces. In the next class, we will study about pressure. So, what is resultant forces? So far, we have considered what happens to a body when only a force acts on it. In more situations, however, more than one force acts on a body. Yes, there are contact forces, there are non-contact forces. So, the resultant forces acting on the body is the single force that would produce the same effect as is produced by the actual forces acting on it. Resultant means sum, net. Net resultant means the net force. Suppose here is an object. Here, my dear student, you have to look on the direction of the force. Okay, now I will explain that in this white screen. See, here is a one second. Yes, here I have taken a block. Okay. <coughs> and One minute, I'm just doing it. Block became a little bit smaller. No issue. We will make the block. Yes, there is a block. One man is applying force of three Newton. Here, another man is applying force. 2 Newton here. So I will ask what is the resultant force? 
what is the resultant force then you have to you have to check the direction first to see force a you name it force a and this force you name it force b okay if you ask what is the resultant force on this block block f suppose the name of this block is f what is the resultant force on this block f so what will be answer both the force are in same direction so we have to add it why we have to add it because both the force are in same direction so if i will say what is the resultant force or net force so resultant force resultant force is how much 3 plus 2 the answer is your 5 newton yes i think you are clear now okay Resultant force is 5 Newton. Now suppose one more case in red color. Suppose this is your ground and this is the another block. And here two friends are fighting between each other. Two friends are fighting. This one friend is applying force in this direction. How much? 8 Newton. Let it be friend A. The name of the block is block C. Okay. And this friend is applying in this direction uh, his name is b and his force is 6 newton now i will ask you what is the resultant force you will say are they applying force in same direction no block a is applying force in this direction and block B is applying force in this direction. So what will the resultant force? Neg minus. You will not add it. You will subtract it. Resultant force F is equal to 8 minus 6. Why minus? Because direction is opposite. So your answer is 2. And if I will say to draw the diagram of the resultant force, you will draw it like that. Here a block C and resultant force is in this direction. That is 2 Newton. Why this direction? Because this force is greater than this force. Bada hai ye force. It will be resultant direction. Hum log is One more question for you now. Okay, one more question for you. Now, don't look here. Look here. Suppose here is a ball. And here, one is applying 4 Newton force. Suppose his name is A. Here, one is applying... 2 Newton force, his name is B. Another girl, C is applying force 8 Newton. And here, another boy is of D name applying force of 10 Newton. I will ask you, what is the resultant force on this ball G? resultant force 
I hope you will calculate and tell me. Pause the video. Calculate and tell me. I hope you have got the answer. The answer is 4 Newton. How for? See, force going to this direction. You add it. It will be 14 Newton. And force going to that direction, that is to the east direction. Add it again, 10 Newton. Now I have asked you the resultant force. Resultant means 14 minus 10, 4 Newton and the resultant diagram. Four Newton. Okay. Very easy. Okay. Now you see this question. As we have done your left, right here, they are giving upwards and downwards. Same thing. 25 Newton, 15 Newton. Add it. How much will come? 40 Newton. Look here. 25 plus 15, how much? 40. Now here also you add it. 30 Newton, 20 Newton, 10 Newton. How much? 30 plus 20, 50 plus 10, 16 Newton. Now what is the net diagram? If I will draw. Twenty Newton downwards, and as the downward force is more, so the speed will decrease. You see, will the speed increase or decrease? It will decrease. Why? Because resultant force is down. Yes. So for today, this much force is completed. Next class, we will learn about pressure. Till then, thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Jai Hind. Please like and subscribe the channel.